What's up everyone? So this video is going to be a little bit different than what I normally do, um, but as you guys are following me on the journey through life, this is a part of it too. Um, a few months ago I made a video called How I Got Fat, and it was about how my weight gain happened over the last couple years, and basically what I was going to try to do to make that change. But it was a tough road. I've never had a problem with my weight until I actually got fat. And then once I got fat, I started having cravings for sugar and things like that that I never dealt with before. And it was tough. I mean, it is tough. Uh, it's definitely a struggle. But starting back in May, I think it was, I looked at it from a financial aspect. And while I may not have had the discipline to control myself for the sheer fact of health and wellness or exercise, money is more of a motivator for me, um, obviously. So what I realized is that I was spending a lot of money on going to the gas station and getting pop. Um, I needed the caffeine. Basically, I relapsed back into using caffeine with all the other stuff that's happened. But my one last hang up that I wouldn't allow myself to do because it'd mean that I had completely relapsed was that I wouldn't keep caffeine in the house. I made myself drive to the gas station and get it. Well, that meant I had to go like three or four times a day. I had to pay to drive there. It took time. I had to wake up earlier in order to go in the morning before work. And what ended up happening was I got into this bad habit where I would go to the gas station and every time I went there, almost every time, I would get something else. It'd be like, okay, well, I gotta get this pop, but uh, I really, like, I really want this candy, or whatever, even if I wasn't hungry. And I used to have very good self-control and discipline, and I don't anymore. I'm something I'm really working on, but I found one thing that made it a little bit easier for me to control that was to think of it from the money aspect. So, I thought, okay, well, how do I save money on this? Because it's about $1.79 for each 20 ounce that I'm buying. That doesn't sound like a lot, but if I'm getting, say, six 20 ounces a day, well, then 30 days, 31 days in a month, it adds up to a lot of money. Not to mention that I was grabbing that extra stuff when I was there. So, um, I decided I actually started this toward the end of June, but I decided for July I was going to do something. And that was going to be, um, well, let me back up a little bit. Um, so for June, I started just buying the pop, the 20 ounces that I was getting, in these little six packs at Kroger. So they're already portioned out, because if I had a two liter, I'd just drink the whole two liter. Um, but I got these these uh, six packs. Normally they they would be on sale like three for ten dollars or five for ten dollars. I mean they ended up being about thirty three cents a piece. And when you look at that thirty three cents versus a dollar seventy nine for each one, and not having to drive to get them, and not getting other crap while I'm there, it was a huge difference. So I was looking at that budget, trying to save money because I looked at how much I was spending every month under the snacks category, which would mean the, the stuff I was getting at the gas station. And it was an obscene amount. Uh, for someone who is as poor as I am, I was spending hundreds of dollars a month. So obviously that had to stop, and I hadn't realized until that point how much that added up to. But that was the biggest category that I had not set a budget for that I was spending on every month. So. I decided, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to start getting these. I'm going to do it for a month and see how it goes. The first month, being June, that I did that, I was able to bring my snack spending down to like $40, which is fine. Um, that's probably a little still too high. I think in July it was maybe like $25. But I saved a shit ton of money by doing it like that. And I'm going to continue doing that. Now... Eventually, once I get the, 
other aspects of my life together. I'm going to get myself off ca caffeine again, and then I'll just cut out that cost completely. Cut my grocery bill down um, by not having to buy the pop. Now, I wanted to continue this money saving. And the other thing that I realized looking at my budget, and when I say my budget, I don't mean my budget that I set at the beginning of the month, because you guys know I don't really do that. I just look at it at the end of the month and see how much I spent in each category. The other thing I was spending a ton of money on was food and dining in two categories, restaurants and fast food. Now, restaurants and fast food, I use mint.com, and sometimes it'll categorize, say like it's Chipotle, sometimes it's restaurants, sometimes it's fast food. I don't generally make a distinction. It just will go into one of the two categories, whatever, that's fine. But between those two categories, I actually saw, again, I was spending hundreds of dollars a month. And I always had a $200 per month grocery budget set but I wouldn't use hardly any of it because I hardly ever went to the grocery store. The only thing I really did was make sure that I had cereal and milk here for breakfast, but the other two meals a day, a lot of times I was eating out. Now, some of that is a bad habit, um, which I explained in my video, I'm not gonna explain it here, but in the how I got fat, how I got into the habit of eating out every meal. Um, and then I, it was also, um, well, I lost my train of thought, I, I had a second reason, I can't remember it, but, what I decided is, okay, for July, and I started this actually in late June as a test run, but I was like, for July, I am going to attempt not to eat any fast food. And from going out twice a day, almost every day, to no fast food for 30 days, that's a huge deal. Um, the only way I motivated myself to do that was how much money I was going to be able to save and how much more comfortably that'd allow me to live if I could do that. So I did it for all of July. I will say toward the end of the month, the last week or so, I did not do that well. And the first week or so, so far of August, I've kind of been sketchy, but I'm doubling down and I'm going to do this for a second month in August and see how it goes. So here are the results. Um, so I set myself, I allowed myself to have a cheap meal for either lunch or dinner on Friday and a cheap meal on Sunday, meaning that those were fine. You could go out to restaurants, I could spend money. So obviously I'm not going to have zero spending um, under those categories. And I also increased my grocery budget from $200 to $300. I was just going to see how it went for a month and maybe adjust it after that. Well, I'm happy to say that with not even watching my money, spending money on groceries, I only spent $291 of my $300 grocery budget. And in addition to that, with my cheat meals and the few meals that I kind of cheated on the plan with, um, I only spent $161 on restaurants, $85 on fast food. Now that's still above the amount that I had set in each one of those categories, and I'm going to try to do better this month but that is a huge difference. Now, in doing this, something else interesting happened. I lost about six pounds. Doesn't sound like a lot, but just uh, do a Google image search of like five pounds of fat, and it's a huge, I mean, it's when you look at me, it's a noticeable difference. I even took pictures, um, just to show the difference, because it's very noticeable. Uh, and I say six pounds because I was down almost 10, and then I had that bad last week of July where I ate out a lot. And there definitely seems to be a difference day to day. If I ate out the day before, I go up a pound or two. Um, now obviously, I need to lose weight. I want to lose another 10, 15, 20 pounds from where I am now to get back to my, my optimal weight. But I have lost about half the weight total, including this past month, from where I was at my peak weight. And a lot of that is just not eating like garbage all the time and being a little more active. Um, and I, I think it becoming warm outside, not being winter, probably helped in that too. Um, because Columbus is just abysmal and like for nine months of the year, it's just freezing here. Uh, so being able to go out and be active has helped. 
So, I've lost weight, I've saved money, and by saving money, it's helped me a little bit into paying some other things off. I was able to rent a car to go see my mom, um, and I was able to pay for AAA, um, because I didn't think there was any way I was going to pay for that. And I had to pay the $100 for the annual membership renewal, and I actually was able to do that. So, I'm really happy about that. It made things a little easier for me. So... For August, I'm already almost over budget for both of the categories for restaurant and fast food. So if I check in with you later about that, we're going to be over, but um, that's okay because I'm going to cut it down for the rest of the month. I got to go spend some money on groceries today or tomorrow. Um, I'm going to probably go to Chipotle for my cheat meal, which isn't much of a cheat meal because it's only like 650 calories what I get, um, but I'm probably going to do that today. And then I will stick it out until Friday um, and just eat my lunch at work at home and, um, you know, eat a diet pizza or something like that for dinner here. And yeah, um, I don't know. I'm just, I thought it was a great way to save money, um, a good experiment. If you guys would like to try it with me, I know we're already on the 6th or 7th of August, but, um, you know, just... Give it a try. Um, see how much money you can save. I know you won't be able to resist eating out every meal. I, I certainly can't, but um, you can try it and see, because I, I think it will make a big difference in your budget. Uh, for someone like me that doesn't cook, uh, I probably still spend more than most people would just cooking or just eating at home, because I am buying like TV dinners and like semi-prepared stuff that I can heat up. But if you cook, I mean, you might save a ton of money. So thank you guys for watching. Um, I do want to let you know that I did get a new computer. Um, that's it. I can't make it point. There we go. There in the background. Um, long story on that. I got it super cheap, but it works, which is a lot different than my old computer, which means that I will be able to do some more editing and I will be able to get you guys videos more often and respond to comments. Um, in a more timely manner, and I will be able to do those end of month budget reviews that I have been promising for the last three or four months. So there will be one of those for August, and if you guys want to see that, make sure you subscribe. Um, I will be bringing a video at least once a week, usually on Sundays, and if I have anything else to add, I usually put that up midweek. So if you want to follow me on this journey of paying off debt and um, living frugally, then make sure you subscribe. And in the comments, if you want to participate in the 30 Day No Fast Food Challenge, let me know. And maybe we can do a collab video uh, for our results at the end of August. Alright, I will see you guys next week.